All right, so you just read about subsetting variables, which we call selecting variables or selecting columns of interest. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a quick review of how we do that. First, I'm going to go ahead and import pandas as pd. And then I'm going to go ahead and I've got the planes df that you saw in the reading stored in a local directory. I'm just going to save this as planes df. All right, so if we go ahead and take a look, we have multiple columns of interest here, uh, but we may only want to have one or two, right? So we can always select a single column just by using brackets. So I could say, uh, let's go ahead and select the model uh, column. And I could do so, and I get a series in return, right? We can tell it's a series just by looking at it. It's not nicely formatted. We can always go ahead and verify with type that tells me that the series. And one thing that we talked about early on or in the intro is we often want to do some subsetting of our data, but we want to get a data frame in return because that's going to make it easy to do follow on analysis. And that could be um, doing uh, further addition of um, new columns that we need to create. It could be for visualization purposes. It could be for doing uh, machine learning models and stuff. Um, and so we often want to retain a data frame as an output. So we can do that simply by passing whatever column of interest we want to select as a list, right? So it's double brackets here. And what we get now is a data frame. We can go ahead and validate that. And it is in fact. And the nice thing about being of um, nice about passing a, um, a list is that we can now include multiple names, multiple columns of interest that we want to select. So let's say I want to get the model in the year, I can do so. And I can even add on to this, uh, let's see, what were some of the other columns? We see we have year, uh, model, oh, let's get engines and seats, right? So I can go ahead and even add these and I can add them in any order I want. And that's the order that I'll get them in return. Right, so now I can go ahead and I can select the four columns of interest to go ahead and do some additional analysis with. All right, so let's pop down to the knowledge check here. And let's go ahead and answer these. So blank is a common term for subsetting data frame variables. Now we talked about the idea that selecting is a common term that we use when we are trying to subset um, for a certain single or multiple columns of interest or variables of interest. Now, what type of object is a data frame column? Um, now, we talked about when we go ahead and we subset for a single column, we can do so with single brackets, right? We saw that with, here we go, year, and we see that that returns a series. Right? And we've talked about this before, that data frames are made up of individual series. Uh, and so if we only select a single column, we get that series in return. Right? So we'd have to actually double brackets this in order to get a data frame. Right? But answer number two, what type of object is a data frame column? It is a series. Now, what will be returned by the following code? All right, so if you look at this, we can see we are actually passing in single brackets multiple columns of interest, right? And what we get here is we will get an error, right? And so we can see that we have some issues with the idea of key error is a tuple type model. And the problem that is happening here is planes DF or, um, Python is in, in, interpreting this as passing a tuple, which is not going to be allowed to do um, indexing or subsetting of multiple columns, right? So if you recall from earlier, anytime we have syntax like this, right, this ends up being interpreted as a tuple, right? But we can't use a tuple to actually subset columns in a uh, data frame. So we would have to, to fix this, we would have to use double brackets, passing a list of the names type. 
in model. And now we would get what we would expect. We get the two columns of interest and we get in return a data frame. 